Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Kajuffles, and today I wanted to bring to your guys' attention um, some new stuff that will be coming out to ARC this summer, and it will be a new free map, and just so you guys know, I'll be reading off and on from the website and then giving you guys my input. So, uh, so Crystal Isles is a stunning otherworldly map filled with a vibrant display of teeming life scattered amidst its varied landscapes awe-inspiring floating islands and breathtaking biomes. Ever since Crystal Isles launched as a mod in 2016, its fantasy appeal has secured its place as one of the most popular maps within the art community, and we can't wait to bring it to players as a fully supported free DLC. So Crystal Isles, like I said, it did come out in 2016. There are some uh, YouTubers that actually cover that island. Uh, the I'm going to call it an island map because it's Crystal Isles. Anyway, um... The areas where uh, there is a whole bunch of like floating islands, there's some wasteland, there's some uh, some really heavily wooded areas as well, and it's really, really cool. I used to watch some of these YouTubers, and I really enjoyed watching them play this. So some of the creatures that were in that map, I'm not sure if they'll be supported by this free DLC um, or not. Uh, they had some really crazy looking dinos and stuff like that. I want to say there was like even like hippos and stuff. Maybe I'm talking about a different map, but I'm pretty sure that um, they're not going to cover dinos like that. Um, let me see what else there is to say. In other news, we've been itching to share that we'll be performing a TLC Pass 3 in summer of 2020. This TLC Pass will uh, see some of our classic creatures get some new love via visual and functional upgrades. So some dinos will probably get new uh, abilities and stuff like that. They'll probably release a video of, like a couple weeks before uh, just promoting what creatures will get updates. You know like how they did with the raptors being able to jump and the sarcos being able to do their death rolls and then the argentavis being able to carry more than just one creature at a time. Uh, as we get closer to the release of the new Crystal Isles DLC and our much-weighted TLC pass, we'll share more details and information with our players. So, like I said, once it gets a little bit closer, I would assume 2020 summer would be for them, like, June, July, maybe August. I'm not sure about September. I wouldn't consider that summer, but you never know. Um, anyway, uh, there's going to be a lot to explore in this map. I don't... I don't really know all the details of the Crystal Isles. I don't know where the cave locations are. I don't know where artifact locations are. But it'll be really fun to check out. Um, then there's some new sponsored mods that will be coming out too. It's uh, One of them's called Dead Survival. It says, tired of dinosaurs? Of course you aren't. But sometimes we do want to change our diet. Uh, Dead Survival does just that. You can swap out wildlife in the game with some not quite life. Zombies. I'm trying to say that you can have zombies. Lots of lo lots of lots of zombies. Hordes of them even. Um, there's some new additional items that will be coming out, um, including it looks like some furniture and stuff like that that you'll be able to uh, that you'll be able to create. And then it looks like um, castles, forts, and keeps remastered. Um, CKF development went doormat for a little bit while the author went on a break, but it's back and it's getting a new facelift. The author is taking what they learned over the years and working on remastered. Um, so, in other words, is you know they're remastering some of the um, some of the structures and stuff like that, and they may be able to start making some really cool looking structures. And then um, there's Arc Venture Park. I'm pretty sure we have all dreamed of having our own backyard water slides and roller coasters. But now you can do just that in your own base. Build a minecart roller coaster that plows through your living room or a water slide into lava pools out back. Which, that would be kind of cool. Um, on the horizon, so uh, Primitive Plus. Uh, so right now Primitive Plus is actually uh, offline. I want to say that's just like the regular servers. Primitive Plus is like a special place in my heart just due to the fact that... Uh, that's where I kind of really enjoy playing. You know, you don't have as many uh, electronics or gear that you could be using. You kind of had to use your brain a little bit more uh, for, you know, trapping dinos and stuff like that. Um, but it says, uh, Primitive Plus remains a priority. We have been engineering teams working on the complications from the Genesis update. We will keep you informed with any significant process. And then they're also doing a uh, Genesis Part 1 update here soon. And then, um, 
so that's basically it from this article. Uh, I'm really excited for this new map. Uh, like I said, it'll be coming out this summer. I don't know when exactly, but they will be uh, launching it here soon, and they'll probably, you know, give give us a trailer and all this fun stuff. Uh, as for Primitive Plus, I don't know if I'll be doing Primitive Plus on Crystal Isles. I probably will, just due to the fact that I the last time I did a Primitive Plus server gameplay was with Ragnarok, and, you know, I didn't finish the game like I would have wanted to when it came to Primitive Plus on Ragnarok, but, you know, I was so far behind already. So, anyway, what we'll do is we'll probably continue on this map of Valguero and then eventually move to Crystal Isles. I do want to play Genesis. I want to play Extinction. I want to go back to Aberration. It's just not in the in the timeline at the moment, but it will be here soon. So anyway, you guys, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I will be leaving the link of this article in the description. So if you have any like questions about that and you know, I don't answer right away, you can always click on that and check it out. So that's going to be it for today's little update. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you on those. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.